Hi everyone, welcome back to the Golden Era Bookworm. Today I'm finally making another video on your physique. I've happened to finish reading this magazine. It's the August to September 1945 edition by Joe Waiter with Ronald and Rudy, it's as far as I know, The Adonises of Balance featured on the cover. I'm assuming they must have done performances in the time. Again, this magazine I got damaged with no cover, so I've obtained the cover through uh, VintageMuscleMags.com. Thank you very much. <clears throat> the Editorial by Joe Wader. So, quite clearly we can see the word here, and that's what it's all about. Imagination. Humanity's ability to imagine is what has led to progress and the perfection of the human race. And Joe Wader in this article states that your physique, this magazine, attempts to help and develop a more perfect, stronger humanity. I'm sure it does. Of course, through the system of barbell weight training. Going through the articles now, I thought this particular article was quite interesting. There's a few. There's about maybe 10 that I'll go through. If you had a magic wand by E.M. Ehrlich. Ehrlich um, I love this photo here of Dan Lurie holding this dumbbell. It's phenomenal. Uh... He's the most muscular man in America, by the way. The article centers on the, I guess, on the inner desire that we all have to be big and strong. And it is a desire that is ingrained, one could say, in our subconscious, rooted deep inside us from the moment that we are born. And the, art the article, the author of the article, really makes a point here. You can see that children are totally dependent on parents or big people as they see it and if you hear a child talk I've got two of my own they will always say that they can't wait to be big they can't wait to be an adult they can't wait to be big and strong because they realize that it leads to greater happiness to freedom uh, to uh, the ability to do things and this longing to be big and strong is as quickly, to, to, is, they want this as quick as possible, children. And it's very true. This desire, therefore, stays with us for the rest of our lives. And uh, for most people that do not succeed in acquiring a strong physique, they look for that magic pill, one could say, that magic wand, that fast fix back then this was spoken back in the 1940s and it's so true nowadays with those 20 minute abs 20 minute this 20 minute that um you know it's it's very true that magic wand of course doesn't really exist uh it's not fast but there is a method or a wand in its in in the word in the sense of the word and this wand of course as the author goes out to spell spell it out he spells it out really specifically uh, is the barbell, of course, and gives examples of many men who have developed themselves using the magic wand, the barbell. And of course, he then goes and uh, advertises the way to barbell set. No surprise. Um, this article I almost found rather insulting um, because tea and coffee here, written by Dr. Caleb Saunders. I don't know how much of a doctor this guy is, but it really gives it, it really uh highlights the attitude back then the incorrect attitude that is against coffee and tea uh, where the author compares them to poisons and narcotics which are drugs claiming they cause disease of course nowadays coffee has been linked to reduce heart disease and reduce inflammation in the body and of course opinions change but i think that was just an opinion and not based on scientific evidence as uh, coffee 
and T have been subjected to uh, many uh, experiments. Hitting below the belt does not suggest an actual uh, foul play in boxing. This is more like a uh, feature here, Tony Sansoni, in an article by Ed Theriot. Uh, some basic exercises. This is actually, uh, I already made a uh, review on the previous magazine where they talked about rather uh, advanced exercises. Here, the uh, recommended exercises are a bit more basic. I always make notes. I always make notes to read certain paragraphs. Here we go. Paragraph 3 of column 2 is rather interesting. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit. Too much sitting. Maybe I can actually bring the magazine up to the camera. Maybe that will work. It's actually much better. Too much sitting in one in one of oh, is one of the curses, sorry, of modern civilization. We sit when we are at home, when we are at work. We sit when we drive our cars, we sit in buses, we sit in streetcars. This sitting cramps the vital internal organs. It makes the abdominal muscles weak and flabby. It forces our mid-regions out and is fast making us into a race of pot-bellied men and women too. Hear, hear. I agree with that 100%. And so it recommends uh, the prone vacuum where one basically just uh, goes into a sort of a four-legged uh, position with knees on the floor and palms and sucks up the belly. It's actually very good for the transverse abdominis. The sit-up, the uh, leg raise to the chest. Um, oh, actually, that's not a sit-up, that's the sit-up. This is more of a uh, being in a more or less uh, L where your feet and butt touch the floor and you bring your legs up to your chest. It's a great exercise. And the leg raise, of course. And then uh, there are also more advanced uh, versions of this explained and it goes on to state that the October November issue will contain much advanced exercises and it does and I, as I said I already made a video on this on the November October November 1945 issue your physique is the next article at the 1945 senior weightlifting meet the program is as follows uh, there was uh, divisions for the two hands military press, two hands snatch, two hands clean and jerk, and muscle control, which is posing. The Mr. America, with subdivisions of best chest, best back, best arms, best legs, and best abdominals. Presentation of medals, and another weightlifting, this time the heavyweight division. The previous was the light and middleweight on the Saturday, and this is on the Sunday with the same basic program. Uh, Mr. America was won by Mr. Clarence Ross. The third paragraph of this third column is apparently quite interesting. I'm going to read it. One of the most inspiring stories or sights was watching young Tony Vega lift. We saw Tony during the first session when he competed in the best chest, best back and best abdominal divisions. He clowned around and didn't put much serious concentration in his posing. However, during the lifting in the 132-pound class, we saw a different Anthony Vega. He was serious, determined, and then we saw why. He has four fingers missing from his left hand and lifts by placing the bar between his wrist and thumb joint. Oh man, just like that. That's crazy. In this manner, he pressed 175 libras, snatched... Oh, maybe like this actually, sorry, like that. Snatched 180 libras and cleaned 220. Jesus Christ. And that's with a, with a so-called disability. More power to him, exactly, more power to him. Weightlifting performances, so these are the... That's the medals there, the medal ceremony with Clarence Ross winning Mr. America. 
I believe that's Clarence Ross. Weightlifting performances of merit by David Willoughby gives another chart this time with 57 lifts listed and the weights that one should need to do to be considered of merit based on the pounds that one weighs and the height in inches given gives a it gives a ratio and then you can calculate of all these 57 lifts what you should be lifting for first place second place and third place so it's kind of similar to his previous article that he wrote and I thought that was rather interesting I actually checked my own my own poundages and I fared okay magnificent manhood a fantastic photo of Ed Theriot how to develop stubborn calves um, the calves present a pretty stiff position as the author Barton Horvath says to most body culturists back then body culturists were known as bodybuilders no sorry bodybuilders back then were known as body culturists they and the forearms are admittedly the most difficult parts of the human body to develop proportionately I do feel however that the calves are the most stubborn of the two areas and will concentrate this discussion upon them what is recommended is snatching and cleaning with heavy weights because if you do know how to snatch and clean you would learn very quickly that you've got to get up on your toes as you heave the weight up and then sink under it to catch it direct raising on toes with weights of course uh, as is shown here uh, held across the shoulders etc and there are many others um, including interestingly uh, so, uh, exercises here with the iron boot pressing dumbbells overhead in the squat position with the heels up interesting uh, I thought the Eugene St Sandow story that is continued is also interesting uh, I mean wow look at this photo of Eugene Sandow and this is of course a drawing sorry not a photo it's a reproduction of a poster showing one of the many feats Sandow regularly performed really lifting a horse wow I'd like to see that that is amazing if it's true uh, at the age of 22 he challenges the infamous grappler named Muller and well I'm running out of time for this video I'm only allowed for some reason on my account to only run 15 minute videos so I'll stop it here and continue in part B thanks for watching and please tune in again I'm going to continue the Eugene Sandow story in part B plus a few other articles from this magazine uh, from this particular issue of your physique I hope you've enjoyed it so I'll continue thank you